hi everyone welcome to our channel in this video we will now see how to activate the installed RAN encryption product on the client machine so uh, let's go to the EPO system tree and then open up the system information under the product you can see that we have RAN encryption agent and Windows component which is already installed in the previous video so uh, the state is inactive we need to activate it now for it to be active we need to make configurations in our dry encryption policy which is the product settings policy so now let's navigate to the product setting policy so in, this is the general tab we need to have this enabled as per the policy and uh, the encryption tab and the logon tab so these are the options which are available for adding the users to the particular dry encryption login screen so uh, let's by default disable these options are disabled and you have uh, automatic booting option as well and uh, we have the other tabs as well but we will be covering the first three tabs over here which are the main important tabs which we'll be using for the machine to be activated this is the client machine and uh, the user account which is over here as of now in the client machine is the local user to show that it's local user i'll be showing you that uh, it's a uh, the machine is in the work group so in order to verify it i'm going to the computer properties i just clicked on the wrong tab let's go back to the computer properties and uh, check you see the machine is in a work group environment so the user is a local user if the machine is a work, on, work group environment you can add, add the encryption users from the user directory section in EPO you remember that we installed user directory extensions that the main purpose of user directory extensions is to add user directory users to any machines whether it can be AD or whether it can be a work group but since we don't have a ED over here, we can use user directory user. So I'm going to create a user directory user, navigating to the user directory menu and click on create actions, create a user or add a user. So I'll be giving a name over here for the user account. Now let me type it, type Jitendran and the logon name can be Jitendran as well. Now let's move on to uh, the creation part. Click on save for the user directory user to be created. So once we have the user created, we can add this user under encryption users tab. I'm not going to add this user as of now, but I'll be showing you how to add this user from encryption users tab. Let's go to encryption users and click on all groups as well in the preset. Click on actions, run encryption, add users. So under the look in, you will have the user directory. You can select user directory and then select your username and then click on OK. It will add your user in the next policy enforcement in the client machine but as of now we don't want to do that so there is other option to add users manually from the encryption users tab that is using your LDAP so for that we need to have the registered servers registered so I am going to register my LDAP server I'll give the name and then the configuration page I'll be specifying the server name for my LDAP server I'll use the IP address which is 10.95.31 and uh, I'll be giving the username administrator for my domain the domain administrator account password over here and then click on test connection sure I have an error because I didn't use the domain name prefix before the username so let me type in the domain name so it should be in the format of domain name slash administrator or domain name slash username now the connection is successful Let's go to the encryption users menu now. And we can now add the AD users manually from the encryption users tab, like we did it for user directory users. Select the machine, click on actions. Let's select the machine over here and then actions add user. Select the domain the registered server whatever we registered here is a battle bay we can select any user from here and then click on ok to add that user I'm not going to do this as well now because now i'll be showing you how to add the user automatically the ad user automatically using the policy no need to do any manual work we have the options called ldu aldu add local domain users two options under ldu which is uh, add all the domain users earlier which are present in the machine or we can add the current logged on username so for it to be added the machine needs to be in a domain so as you can see there are two options so i'll be selecting only the current logged on username in a while 
before that let's add the machine to the add to that so let's go to the machine properties change settings add the machine to the domain let me enter my domain name click on ok and uh, I'm waiting for the prompt here yeah, we have the prompt to enter the password for the administrator account to join to the domain now the machine needs to be restarted because it's been added to the domain and the, all the policies from the domain needs to be enforced so just make a restart of the machine so once after the restart here we are so I'll be using the other user and then log in to my domain so let me type in the username I need to use the prefix battle bay so let me use the prefix yeah, I forgot to use the prefix so it's signing in So let it load and once after it has loaded we'll verify now let's go to command prompt so now we have the user the domain user account which is administrator user account and then it still is inactive we need to set the policies so uh, let me go to EPO I'm not going to use the my default policy but there are two options right so I'll be using uh, the third option but i'll be creating a new policy so it's always the best practice to create a new policy by duplicating the existing mcfee default policy so let's go to mcfee default policy and the product settings click on duplicate create a new uh, policy name called encryption policy which can be used for machines to encrypt your machines so let's name it as encryption policy so encryption option is enabled and endpoint file info is also enabled which would be useful for troubleshooting purposes for the technical support and under encryption tab we added all disks option to uh, encrypt all the drives which is c drive d drive or e drive and under log on tab i'm selecting uh, the third option for aldo which will uh, add only our current user and these are other options which needs to be selected for password synchronization and single sign-on I'll be also showing you how to do single sign-on but for that these options needs to be selected and uh, we'll now go to the client machine because we need to apply the created policy to that machine so in order to assign the policy we'll go to actions director management view assign policies and select an encryption point product let's click on edit the assignment and uh, click on the encryption policy okay we'll click on save so now the encryption policy is assigned to this machine from EPO now let's log into the client machine agent status monitor and enforce the policies quickly so that the policy enforcement would happen quickly now you can see the machine started to create an event requesting for the local domain user so uh, it will take the local domain user battle based slash administrator and create an event send it to the EPO and EPO will in turn contact your registered LDAP server get the information from the registered LDAP server give it to the client machine again hey I have the user you can use this particular user in your pre-boot authentication screen which is while, while building the pre-boot file system it will be using our logged in I mean the logged in username which is the battle piece slash administrator now you can see it's creating the pre-boot file system because it's added uh, our username has been added if there is no user which is being assigned then pre-boot file system will not even be created so now the pre-boot file system is created policy enforcement is active you can see the state is active and c drive is being encrypted you're only seeing only c drive because there is only one c drive in the machine and uh, to verify if the RAM encryption pre-boot login screen or the pbfs is built successfully we will now restart the machine to verify that we are able to see your login screen or not screen so we need to do a process called initialization in the first place so we'll now enter the username which was administrator is our username so we'll use administrator and uh, 
once after administrator we need to do something called initialization initialization is a must for a user so that only an initialized user can have password synchronization in place so initialization can be done from the pba screen after activating your machine you need to restart and initialization can be done only after the initialization phase your password synchronization can work properly so now um, we'll be trying to enter the password so let's use a uh, on-screen keyboard uh, so using the on-screen keyboard we'll be uh, entering the password it's quite a bit slow over here so just bear with me so if you type your Active Directory user password in the first place it will throw you an error that's failed to authenticate and all you need to do is you need to use the default password which is one two three four five six seven that is the default password for dry encryption so click on log on now you will be prompted for new password and confirm password in this you can enter your own password any password it no, need not be your AD password or the AD user password it can be any password for initialization fee so this new password and confirm password I am entering it as McAfee as you can see so once that is entered click on OK and it will take you to the Windows login screen the Windows login UI where you would be asked to enter your AD user account password for the first time so now we'll be entering the AD user account password. So I'm entering my AD user account password. You can see the password. What is the password which I used? So this password would be January 1 star, so which I'd be using for the PB. So uh, I'm logging in. In this particular screen, once we enter the password, there will be a background activity which will be going on called password synchronization. So this particular password is now captured by the encryption credential provider and added to the pre-boot file system. So now once the McAfee agent status monitor performs the ASCII, the event would be sent to the EPO where we can verify whether the password synchronization for this particular user has happened successfully or not. Okay. So now I am opening agent status monitor and sending the events to see whether the password synchronization is successful or not. So that is an event sent to EPO. I'll go to system tree, select the machine, click on actions, agent. You'll be seeing it under client events. So click on client events. There you go. The event ID is 30113, which is user password synchronization event. So if this is there, the password is synchronized. To verify it, you can restart your machine and enter your AD user account password in the PB screen now. So that is what I'm going to do to enter the AD user password. So uh, once after I enter my AD user password and click on OK, it will take me to the RAND Windows login screen. So let me enter the password over here now. That's quite slow as I told you, I'm using a VM machine. So uh, I need to click use the on-screen keyboard. So after entering, it will not take you to the login screen of Windows, but it will directly take you to the desktop screen of Windows. That is called single sign-on. So if your password is synchronized, a single sign-on will directly happen. So over here, so there is no login activity. It automatically signs in to the Windows desktop screen, as you can see over here. Since it's a VM, I just got the screen, which is like a lock, but that will not be a credential provider options for you. Like you no need to enter your credentials anywhere over there. It will be replayed directly from the dry encryption login screen. So that's it. See you in the next video for drive recording. Bye.